Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening! Let's continue through the Catfish's Maw and find wherever that Master Stalfos guy ran off to. What is a Maw, anyway? I mean, I, I could guess, but... Yeah, I, I don't know what the technical definition is. Uh, yeah, let's get those boots on there. Whoa! Scared. Oh, I can't charge right through him, huh? Unlike the last game. Oh well, that's okay. Now, remember what that uh, that owl statue told us? Look for where the torchlight beams do cross. Right here. But I can't do anything with that quite yet. I mean, I could dive there, but I wouldn't be able to do anything when I got to the other side. So, we need another item to do that first. We need another item to do a lot of things. And that's one thing I like about this game, is that, like, well, I mean, I suppose most Zelda games do it, but you get, you, I like it when they incorporate the dungeon item to make it necessary to solve puzzles and possibly defeat the boss, and things like that. I like it when they do that. Whoa, holy crap! Oh, I'm low on hearts. Okay, well, I guess I can uh, show you the, uh, the actual way you're supposed to defeat this guy. Use a bomb there. Ha! Huh. Yeah, it's still pretty easy, even without full hearts. But yeah, it's just like the Stalfos guys in the last game. You hit them, they fall down, blow them up, and we move on with life. And he runs away. We gotta defeat him a few times, just so you know, viewers. Ha! Huh. I want my heart, I want my laser beams back. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's bombs there. Do I even need bombs? Eh, I guess. Whatever. Hey! Whoa. Stay away from me, man. Hey, hey, alright. We got our sword beams back. Right after killing all the enemies. We'll get those chests later. Again, we need... Well, I suppose this one I could get. But, um, the other chests, I need another item in order to get those. So now, if you kill the guy on the left side of the room there, that little jelly there, come back around here... You can, well, open that door. If you if you did not do that on the left, you can just open this up here. For boss time! Or mini boss time. Technically, this guy isn't even the mini boss of the dungeon. He's just another guy in the way. But yeah, I figured I'd show you how to beat him somewhat fairly the first time. But yeah, just make him run away. Ha! Gotcha. And in this chest, we get the map. Okay, well, I think that's everything we can do here. So, uh, now let's uh, return back to the entrance. And remember that empty room that we found earlier in the game? Oh, crap, I lose my piece of power. Ah, whatever. But yeah, remember that empty room that I found earlier? Well, now we gotta head back there. So, let's go and do that and get my sword lasers back. Ha ha! Yeah, I don't know why they put that room, like, way back here. It, it tricked me up the first time I played the game. I just, you know, didn't realize, like, where the hell did he go? I've been everywhere in the dungeon. Well, he goes to a room that you've already been to. And fortunately... Oh, he has all these skeleton guards here. I didn't realize that. All right, it's time for the final battle against Master Stalfos himself. Hey, how's it going? Now, this time, you cannot kill him with your sword beams. You see? He still rises up again. So now, even with the noble sword, you have to use the uh, bombs in order to kill him. Why they couldn't figure that out for the first two times, or first three times you fight him, I don't know. But now we have to use the bombs. Hooray! We got him. I thought... Maybe if I left him alone long enough, he might have said something, but eh, whatever. But for defeating him, we get the item he stole from us. The hook shot. Yeah, it's a really good item. Let's uh, return to the entrance and put that to use then. Um, if I can, that is. Oh, come on, game. There we go. There's quite a few things that we can do in the dungeon now that we have the hook shot. Uh, first, and certainly not least... Um, okay, that wasn't a good example. Let me find another one of them. N yeah, now that I have the hookshot, these guys have no problem facing me. Or facing away from me. 
But yeah, basically, you can hook shot their mask off of them, so that way you can kill them normally. So that's pretty nice. I hate those guys. And in this chest, we get 200 rupees. All right. Joy! Yeah, we're going to need those rupees. That's one of the reasons why I decided to go for the... Uh, what is it? The bow and arrow. Now, instead of waiting until later to do that. Whoa. Stay away from the guardian acorn. Stay away from the summoner. But anyway, uh, yeah. Let's kill these guys. Now, that path to the left there, I could have gone to to fight the mini boss. But I didn't want to do that quite yet. I want to head over here first. And, uh... Yeah, we'll use that later. Ha! Nuts. Ha! Uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll do. We'll get more rupees soon enough. There's lots of rupees in this dungeon. Well, Yeah, you can't attack them while you're in the water. Okay, so now that we got the hook shot, let's head down here. And, uh, make sure you got the hook shot. That, that would be nice. I don't think... Oh, I can use it underwater. Okay. Probably thinking of another game. Whenever I say I'm thinking of another game, viewers, I'm being facetious. I know what I'm talking about. I'm just... Well, yeah, just being facetious. Okay, so anyway, yeah. When you use the hook shot, you can pull the hook on that bridge there, and you can make it across there to get the Nightmare's Key. All right. And there's quite a few... as. You may have noticed, there's quite a few of those uh, bridges. Uh, I don't know what you call those kind of bridges, but uh, hookshot bridges, I'm going to call them. But there's quite a few of them in this dungeon. So, yeah, I like it when they do that. When they, you know, when they have a, a new item in a dungeon, you have to use it in order to, well, get through the dungeon. So that's a nice little touch. These guys always drop rupees. I need hearts. Well... Oh, right! We got a piece of power! Excellent. Wasn't expecting that so soon. After I saved and lost it, I'm probably going to be saving and losing it again. But, oh well. How many more chests do I got? Ah, yeah, just pretty much the ones in this room, really. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, we need hookshot power. Down here. Ha! There we go. Yeah, you can attach yourself to chests, blocks, pots. You name it, you can attach yourself to it, pretty much. Well, there's a small key that we would have needed to get anyway. Hmm, I thought all the chests here were useless. I was wrong! Alright, refilled on hearts. Got all the rupees we need, we just needed 300, so... Now, let's, uh, let's get back to the entrance there, if I can ever get my items sorted out. There we go. Okay, let's just head straight for the boss then. Might as well get my hook shot ready. We're going to be needing it. Huh, I didn't take off that guy's man. Well, oh, that's okay. Ha! There we go. Whoa. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be killing too many enemies. Whoa. As I move along to proceed to kill just about every enemy in my path. Now, yeah, that's how you get across that pit there. You, uh, well, you gotta use the hook shot. Well, you don't have to. Uh, if you're really careful with the rock's feather, you could probably still do that. But, you know, then you, well, yeah, you could probably still jump down here if you jumped from the upper right down here. But still, just usually best to wait for the hook shot because you gotta go here anyway, but just before fighting the boss anyway. Now, if you don't have the bow and arrow by the time you get here, and you try to pick up those arrows, it won't do anything. You, you'll pick it up, but then it won't appear in your inventory anyway. So, let's just head on through here to boss time! Now, this is Goma. Basically, what you gotta do is wait for them to stop. Stop walking around like that one on the top there. And eventually, they'll open up their eyes. So that way you can hit them. If they stop and they're shaking... Or stop walking, then they're shaking. That means they're going to charge at you like that. So you got to stay out of their way. Use the hook shot. Um, I don't know if other weapons work on them. Maybe. I would imagine the bow and arrows work. But I'd rather use a weapon that, you know, it doesn't have limited uses. Wow, that was enormously easier than I thought it was going to be. But then again, maybe I'm thinking of the next game. But can we defeat the catfish's nightmare? What else can we do with the hook shot? Will someone swallow my soul? Find out next time.
time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.